But I did want to ask you, did you see this tweet that had to do with Baker Mayfield? Apparently, there is a Mexican food restaurant in Norman, Oklahoma called Tara Humaras. And Baker Mayfield visited yesterday and as a joke, so they could put it up on Twitter, filled out a job application. So if things don't work out with the Browns and it looks like it's not going to work out, if he's not traded to the Panthers, if it's not traded to the Seahawks, you can go to Norman, Oklahoma, and perhaps in the fall, Baker Mayfield will serve you a couple of chimichangas. This is a PR, PR move on his part, for sure. He is trying mm-hmm. to win back some good attention on social yep. media. Because where do you go when nobody likes you? You go back to college where you won a Heisman and you were the king of the castle and the big man on campus in Norman, Oklahoma. So I think this is what he's doing. He's needing some love and affection because he ain't getting it in Cleveland. So he goes on down to Norman. He makes a joke of himself. Is this what you think he's trying to do? Is trying to make light of the situation? I think it's a couple things. A, he needs some good PR. It's, hey, look at me. I'm just Baker Mayfield. I'm a regular guy. I like ordering tacos just like the next guy. In fact, I'll make you tacos. You like a hard shell? You want a soft shell? Huh? You want you want a Modelo? I can get you one of those. So A, that's part of it. And then B, I think he just needs some love. He's one of those players that, of course, he will always be beloved in Norman, Oklahoma. So if they don't appreciate you in Cleveland, and now he's not the top dog anymore, he can always go back to Norman And he can always go down to the local Mexican food restaurant or anywhere he goes, and he's going to be a god. So I think he needed this for the old ego, too. Also, I think every person should have to work in the service industry. I know this is not like a waiter or waitress job, but still, don't you think the attitudes across the league would be way more humble if they knew what it was like to work in the service industry? Have you ever been Only. a waiter or wait or I almost said waitress? Have you ever been a waiter? I have not. I worked in a grocery store for two or three years, but I have watched as a regular at the local bar scene here in DC. People are terrible to people in the service industry. All the they are terrible. And I remember one time I have a lot of stories where I'm just mind blown. I'm like, how are you treating another person this way? I'll never forget my my friend Steve down at this bar down the street, which got closed because of COVID. And I would pop in and he would always give me the newest IPA they had on tap and we watched some games. And he was just having a rough day. He goes, Man, you're not gonna believe some of the people that have been in here tonight. And as he says this, <laughs> I watched a guy who was pretty slammered and he walked up to the bar. He orders something. Steve gives him the drink, and this guy goes, "Just make that free," and walks off. And Steve's like, "Oh, whoa, whoa, no! What are you? What are you talking about? Who walks up, orders a drink, and says, just make that free?" I couldn't believe I saw that take place. But yeah, if you work in the service industry, I can't even imagine what you have to deal with. Yeah, so I think as a humbling device that all professional athletes should have to work one day as a server with some kind of disguise on, so like people can't recognize them. And then they will stop complaining about, oh, well, if we came to your cubicle and booed you, you would crumble under the pressure. Remember when Baker Mayfield said that? Kind of poking fun at people with regular jobs? Maybe work a day in a regular job and see how it feels. Maybe you would crumble under the pressure of people demanding that you got my order wrong. This is your fault. This food is not cooked well. Well, guess what? I'm not the cook. I am the server. So I think he should do that. First of all, you're not the only person in the restaurant nor the bar. And also, tip your service people. They work their butts off. They have to take care of a million different people with a million different attitudes. And paying an extra buck or two or a little more is not going to break you at the end of the month. This is one of my pet peeves. So I'll leave it alone. But take care of your service people. You're right about that, Chelsea. If you were in that spot, you'd have a totally different appreciation. Coming up next to BetQL Daily, the Joes and Aaron discuss how dominant the Mavs will end up being once Luka returns to the lineup and he's been practicing, says he feels pretty good. And if you missed our debate over whether the Arizona Cardinals are handling Kyler Murray the right way, got to hand them with kid gloves. Download and subscribe to The Daily Tip wherever you get your podcasts. All right, Chelsea, let's give the people some winners before the weekend. Let's find out who we have the most faith in today. Today's Best Bets. Well, I have not had the best run here. Two straight losses for this guy on the ice. Give me a break. We got to get back on the right side. So let's start with you, Chelsea. You are the winner, and I'm looking for another one. Yeah, I'm looking at this price on the game, and I'm wondering if that's correct, because I'm pretty sure the White Sox are favored against the Twins. 
But I'm going to take the White Sox in the first five minus 115 or minus 110, I think, at BetMGM, whatever price you can get it at, just because I like the pitching matchup in this one in favor of the White Sox. Michael Kopik has some of the most electric stuff in all of the major leagues. And looking at Bailey Ober, he was an easy fade against the, the Twins last season just because he's giving up way more home runs than Michael Kopik. I think he's giving up at least a home run a start if you look at his past starts last season and I know the White Sox are kind of trending in the wrong direction I picked them in my parlay yesterday and they let me down but here's the get right spot I think Michael Kopech has the stuff to uh limit the twins bats here and plus their bats have not been great they have the second worst batting average in the entire American League so I'll go with the White Sox in the first five just riding the pitching matchup here let's go White Sox minus 110 in the first five Chelsea I'm gonna get back on the right side I'm going to put positive vibes into the universe. I'm getting a hockey win tonight. I'm calling it right now. I love this play. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I feel like it's the right side. I'm going to the Caps-Coyotes game. Got to go with my own hometown team, the Washington Capitals, on the road in Phoenix. Caps are minus 400 on the money line. Yo, it's plus 310. Total set at six and a hook. I'm going to go with the over on this one. I'm going to play it down to six to be safe, but the Caps have been playing really good hockey recently. Six, one, and one in their last eight games. Alexander Ovechkin, once again, another 50-goal season. The Caps have averaged, during that eight-game stretch I was talking about, five goals per game. This season, they're hitting the over 65% of the time. But here's the kicker. The Yotes are so bad, they've lost eight straight. During that streak, Chelsea, they're giving up 5.8 goals per game. That is unbelievable. They have quit. I'm going to play an alternate spread. Get this total down to six. Juice to minus 135 at Bet MGM. I don't think it's a lot of juice to lay. Let's go. All right. So are we doing the eight ball now or after my CVS laundry list of lanes? <laughs> Chelsea, let's do it now, and then we'll get to the CVS list. All right. Holy crap. Magic eight ball. That's Ooh. right. We've got a Magic 8-Ball on the show, and it's helping us decide on our picks. So, Magic 8-Ball, do we like Jenks' best bet of the Caps? What was it, on the puck line? Oh, Chelsea, I just need your focus for like 30 seconds. No, I'm doing the total. Oh, what was it? Oh, my God. Just say Dear it. Dear sweet baby Jesus. I'm... There's other people who weren't paying attention either. You're the only – everyone else is – Hanging on every single word that I say. No, they're they not. need a they need a hockey win. You are looking at memes. I'm juicing, I'm playing an alternate total. So it's total of six, betting the over, minus 135. Check that eight ball. Yeah, that's like a complicated Starbucks order. All right. All alternate <laughs> total of six playing Come the on. over. Let's Do go. we like it? Over six goals, caps and coyotes. Eight ball says, my sources say no. Well, good, 8-Ball, because you're on my side last night. Guess what? That was a loser, so I'm glad you're fading me. Chelsea, I bet he fades you too. That's what you get for doing a complicated order. It's too many steps. It's not All right, complicated. Eight ball. All right, 8-Ball, do we like White Sox in the first five? 8-Ball says it is certain. Of course. Trying to Ah, uh, there we go. If you want to watch Chelsea show off the 8-Ball, she's a natural. It is twitch.tv slash betql, twitch.tv slash betql. Always worth the wait. Well done, Chelsea. <laughs> I know you guys can't see it if you're listening, but she does a very good job with it. All right, Chelsea, let's see your CVS list of leans, as you put it. All right, deep breath. <sighs> let's start with the first five under in the Tigers. And the Rockies, both these pitchers have been pretty good so far. Tariq Skubal has the strikeout potential to strand some runners. And plus, the under has been hot for the Tigers as well in general at home. Plus, the weather kind of bodes for it here. It's going to be 49 degrees, wind blowing in a touch, and chance of shower. So not exactly Ooh. hitter's weather. And Antonio Sensatella has been amazing for the Rockies despite pitching at Coors Field. He has an ERA uh, a little bit over two, which is really impressive. So I think he pitches even better when he doesn't have to worry about the ball flying out of the park. So I'll go first five under four runs in the Rockies and the Tigers. Jinx, do you have any lanes or is it cool if I just keep going? 
I'm going to do one quick lean, and I'm going to let you have the floor. The only other lean I have, and I like this play as well, I'm going to go under eight and a half runs. Blue Jays taking on the Astros. You have Justin Verlander on the mound for the Strohs. Surprisingly, the Astros are not hitting the ball well right now as a team, batting 199 this season. So until those bats get hot, I am fading the Strohs lineup, even though I like Verlander. Give me under eight and a half, minus 120 at MGM. Chelsea, take it away. Ooh, I like that. I might add that to my card. Yeah, let's do that. Under right. eight and a half for me, too. A, a strikeout prop that I have Hunter Green of the Cincinnati Reds. I'm going to go over a strikeout prop of five and a half strikeouts. Looking at the Cardinals, they don't strike out a ton. But looking at their series against the Marlins, Pablo Lopez struck out nine Cardinals batters, and Sandy Alcantara struck out six. Hunter Green has electric stuff. He throws over 100 miles an hour on most of his pitches. In fact, the ratio of 100 mile an hour pitches in his starts was only second to Jacob DeGrom. This guy has incredible stuff. And looking at his last two games, he struck out six batters against a really good Dodgers team and seven against the Braves. So I think he does it against the Cardinals today. Chelsea, do you have any more? We have 60 seconds. I kind of like Steven Matz over his strikeout prop, too. <laughs> I thought you might have one. Hey, quick, let's check in with the Donks to your BetQL five-star best bet for insight analysis, historical trends, and more five-star best bets. Download the BetQL app. Donkster went 5-1 and one last night. Tonight, he says, A's plus 110 against the Rangers. Angels minus 185 hosting the Orioles. Chelsea, the Donkster, 5-1. and one. Donkster, wait, are you thinking? Are you? What? Oh, DJ Stan, I had a great night. You didn't give me any time to talk. Well, that's why I'm the father and you're the son. Give me another good night. Give me another winner, Donkster.